Ms Harvey. Lord Reid will summarise the judgment of the court. This appeal is concerned with the confiscation of the proceeds of crime. The appellant operated a plant hire business. Some of the plant which the business hired out had been stolen. He was convicted of handling stolen goods. A confiscation order was made on the basis that the benefit he had obtained from the crime amounted to 38% of the turnover of the business over the relevant period. That figure was based on an estimate that 38% of the plant hired out had been stolen. The point which arises is this. The business was registered for VAT. Its invoices included the VAT payable on the hire. So the turnover included VAT, which the business collected and accounted for to HMRC. The question is whether it was right to make a confiscation order on the basis that the VAT element of a turnover was part of the benefit obtained from crime. The Court of Appeal held that it was. By a majority of three to two, the Supreme Court allows the appeal against that decision. In the view of a majority of the Court, the Court of Appeal's approach effectively allows the government to recover VAT twice. First, when the business accounts for it to HMRC, and a second time when the Crown recover it as part of the proceeds of crime. Furthermore, the confiscation order is for the same amount whether the business has accounted for the VAT or has simply pocketed it. So that a business which deals honestly with its VAT is treated equally harshly as a business which does not. Fundamentally, VAT is designed to have a neutral effect on businesses so that they simply collect the VAT due on their services and account for it to HMRC. So the collection of the VAT is not an economic advantage and it is unrealistic to treat it as part of the proceeds of crime. The majority accept, however, the arguments of the minority that the effect of the court's interpretation of the legislation in question in previous cases makes it difficult to argue that the VAT has not been obtained by the criminal. The majority's solution to this dilemma is to follow previous decisions of this court in holding that the legislation should not be interpreted as requiring the courts to make confiscation orders which are disproportionate and in breach of the ECHR. An order which included the amount of VAT for which the business has already accounted to HMRC would, in the view of a majority, be disproportionate. The appeal was therefore allowed on that basis. The minority, on the other hand, would have held that it was not disproportionate to make a confiscation order in respect of the entire receipts from criminal conduct regardless of whether part of those receipts was accounted for to HMRC. They also emphasize the practical difficulties which they consider may result if criminal courts have to consider whether VAT has been accounted for. <laughs>